In the US, most people under the age of 26 get their health insurance through a parent's job. Think of it like a family phone plan. The new Mint family plan, my mom. You look thin, sweetheart. Are you eating? Okay, let's focus. Stick to the script there. Everyone gets covered for one price. I got kicked off my dad's phone plan! Companies offer different health plans, kind of like picking how much data you can get on your phone. The company then pays some of the premium the monthly fee, and the rest comes out of the employee's paycheck. The more that companies pay for insurance, the more satisfied their employees tend to be. Plus, with a bigger benefits package, they can also attract more talented people to come work for them. Here's the tricky part. Paying more of employees' insurance also means less profit for the company, which could lead to fewer job openings. In extreme circumstances, like a recession, it could even lead to layoffs. So companies have to figure out the sweet spot, the amount they can cover that keeps their employees satisfied, but that's also sustainable for the business. In this lesson, we'll use math to model the different health insurance burdens for different employees at a company. Then we'll answer the key question. How could companies help reduce the financial burden of health insurance? Let's skew it.